Hey everyone, TV King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do just a quick video showing you how to upgrade your uh, Motorola Photon to the latest over-the-air update. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what it does yet. We have we just realized that it's being sent to phones now. Um, my buddy uh, and fellow ACS member Steve Phillips pulled the uh, zip file out actually, and we have the update and zip file. We're just not positive what it does yet. No one's updated that I know of yet updated to it but anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings about phone and as you can see uh, my system version is 45.2.5 MB855 um, my baseband version is this my web top version is this I'm guessing my web top version might change I'm not positive though uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see I posted uh, a thread right here at the Android Creator Syndicate forum um, this is what it's called, Blur version 45.2.5, which I would assume I, it, it might update some form of Moto Blur. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to do. It's not very big, so I believe it is, let me take a look, it's only 6 meg, something like that. Yeah, 6.5 meg. So it's not too big at all. Uh, build number is 4.5.1A1 Sun 154.5. So that might change as well. So to do this update, uh, you're going to need to go to About Phone, obviously, and then click on System Updates uh, and hit Update Motorola Software. You should check for an update, and it says right here, Software Updates Available 45.2.7, uh, which means your software is going to be updated, obviously, from 45.2.5 to uh, 45.2.7 so there's the update right there so I'm gonna go ahead and download it right now uh, it's, I'm over Wi-Fi so I'm assuming it's not gonna take long so as you can see the bars moving pretty quickly okay now that it's uh, d done downloading it uh, gives me the option it says update has been downloaded installation will take up to seven minutes um, you're not gonna be able to make or receive calls, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna hit install now. It's gonna shut off my phone. And I'm assuming it's gonna go into the stock Android recovery. My, uh, speaking of that, my phone is not rooted, nor does it have clockwork mod. It's actually completely back to stock. The bootloader is locked, so everything on my phone is completely back to stock. I'm not sure if this is gonna break, break root or not or what it's going to do until it gets tested and um, I'm not too sure yet since I just heard about it so uh, as you can see it's in the stock Android recovery and it's installing progress bar is moving okay so it looks like it's done it's rebooting my phone now And like I said, there haven't been any release notes yet, so I'm not sure exactly what uh, the update's going to include. Just I'll, I'll post uh, annotations or I'll get a little description in the description of the video letting you guys know exactly what it's going to do. So I'm assuming this is going to take a little while to boot up the first time. Well, at least once the installation is complete. It, install process itself took probably around four or five minutes so just to give you a little time frame of how long that it did take looks like my phone's starting back up like normal I don't see any aesthetic changes just yet let me go ahead and unlock it um, nothing looks different uh, everything looks the exact same. I'm going to go to, oh, it says software update was successful. Your phone has been upgraded to 45.2.7.en.us version. So there you go on the latest 45.2.7. I'm obviously not sure what that means yet, but I'm going to go to menu settings, about phone, and um, let's take a look. So as you can see, system version is now 45.2.7, as you can see right there. So that is, I believe, the only difference. Um, uh, I don't think anything else is different. My baseband version is the exact same that it was. My web top version is the exact same. My kernel version is the exact same as well, I believe. Um, and my build number is 
the exact same. So, the only thing that did change is the system version. Nothing else was changed. So, I'm going ahead and assume that it's only system version that changed. I don't know. As I said, I don't know what uh, this includes. But I will be sure to let you guys know whether it's annotations or descriptions in the video description box. But, anyways, that's going to be how you update your phone to the latest over-the-air update. Um, your Motorola Photon 4G. If you do have any questions or comments... Please uh, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links, like I said, are going to be in the description of the video. Feel free to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video.